Hey, how are you? It's Alan here from Looking for Warriors. And again, I'm going through John Taylor Gatto's things that the private schools teach, elite schools teach kids that your kids will not be taught. And one thing that's really, really important is, is accurate, the power of accurate observation and recording. What the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Power of accurate observation recording. Well, it's quite simple. I heard this a long time ago and when I heard it I was I thought it was really interesting and it changed what I was doing with my kids because I took my kids in and we started drawing I started teaching them drawing and teaching drawing is so simple today there are so many drawing for kids on YouTube there's so much so much tutorials it's so easy and it's all free it's all free there was one, I'll, I'll give links, there was one or two of them I used specifically that were really, really good, and I'll give links in. And, but teaching them how to draw. Because what John Taylor Gatto says, not only drawing, but also writing. What also, what John Taylor Gatto says is teaching them the power of accurate observation and recording. So what you see, you can reproduce. Whether that's drawing, and what he says about drawing is, in the elite schools they teach that if you can't reproduce what you've seen you haven't really seen it if you can't reproduce it you haven't really seen it so accurate observation and recording also for writing can you look at a scene can you see an experience that happened to you and accurately write that out can you talk about your experience what your experience of that item has been because that's all that matters now that's all that is true now because all of the facts every fact that has ever happened we know it all we know it all because we can just say hey siri i shouldn't say i shouldn't say i shouldn't say that word to an iphone but we can just ask google or the apple person i'm not going to say the word for the facts whatever facts we want and we got them all but what we can't ask for and it's the whole thing about ai as well like oh ai is going to take over and you know there'll be no jobs because of ai and humans won't be important because of ai humans will stop thinking because of ai it's the biggest load of crap ever biggest load of crap ever exactly the same as saying there was a thing invented called carb combine harvesters you may remember it means that everybody on the planet can eat these combine harvesters in fact we've excess food in most countries and a huge percentage i don't know the exact percentage but it was about 92 to 95 percent of the workforce were on farms and even there was slavery because because they needed to to do work on farms and combine harvesters were invented and one combine harvester can do the work of hundreds of men hundreds of men to the point where we have excess food. We have excess food. We throw food in the bin after dinner. We have excess food now because of combine harvesters. Now, at that time, people could have said, hey, these combine harvesters are going to take all of our jobs. And they did take all of their jobs. But people didn't stop doing things. People didn't stop. They just did other things. They didn't say, oh, we can't work in the farm now, so we will never do anything. They just did other things. And AI is exactly the same. It's like this uh, this guy talking about AI and he's got this gonna be a singularity and the AI will get more intelligent than people. The AI is already more it depends how you define intelligence. But if you if you would define intelligence as remembering facts, then the AI is already more intelligent than people. But there's something inside you, there's there's a, something inside you that's special, there's a soul in there inside you right now. The AI is never that. The AI, there's no consciousness. We don't know what consciousness is. We don't know where it comes from. The best explanation so far is God did it. That's the best explanation of consciousness so far. Science has absolutely, science says, oh, well, when the brain gets a certain level, it just becomes conscious. No, no, <laughs> so silly. No. We've no explanation of consciousness. We've no, and it's okay to say we don't know. 
We don't know where consciousness comes from. So, AI is not going to take over. <laughs> it's not going. AI is going to be a great tool. It's going to be an incredible tool. The only worry you should have about AI is who controls it. So if there's really despotic people controlling AI, if there's people that are that control all the people have cameras that have facial recognition and, and are keeping all the data and they're taking data from Facebook and TikTok and places like that and keeping databases and people you should certainly be worried about that. But why aren't you? Why aren't you in control of the AI? Why aren't all of us? All of us are intelligent enough to do it. There's no one, there's no politician or despotic dictator that's more intelligent than you. Why aren't you in control of the AI? That's what you need to be asking yourself. It's the human beings that are in control of it that you have to worry about. It's not the, it's not the AI itself. The AI is just a tool. Just like computers are a tool. I remember when we were in school, we used to say, we didn't know what the web was when I was in school. This is how long ago it was. <laughs> and the web was just beginning and there's people saying, we were, the teacher was trying to explain to us, but the teacher didn't even know what it was, really. And people were asking the teacher, well, I hear you can get lost in the web. You can get lost in the web. That sounds scary. And he's like, yeah, I think that is a bit scary. But today, what we know from the web, it's just so silly. Just so silly. Ooh, we get lost in the web. But people are having those conversations around AI now. Is AI going to take over? Is AI going to be more intelligent? Is AI going to realize that it's more powerful and stronger than us? So silly. Yeah. If someone programs that in, it will, but only it'll only ever do what's programmed into it. And this machine learning, machine learning is not consciousness. It's not consciousness. So let's get back to John Taylor Gallo. <laughs> so John Taylor Gallo says that accurate, I don't know how I got through all that, but accurate recording accurate observation and recording is absolutely absolutely vital for being able to see what's there so that means drawing being able to draw being good at drawing it also means writing being able to write and what he says writing is part of the act of literacy that what he says and the writing it's really really important to be able to write well and also observe what's there and be able to write about it. So what's your experience? And he says the only way to learn that to, to, for a kid, you can't teach a kid that. A, you cannot teach a kid that. It can't be taught. The only way for a kid to learn it is to do it every day. And what he says is write 300 words a day. Every single day. And he says elite private schools have done this. They've asked people to write out every day to write out a essay 500 words tells words what it happens to be and you put it into a letterbox and he said that it within the college that was said that all of these things that they wrote every single day these papers he wrote every single day were taken and read and your future was determined by what you wrote that's what everyone believed but he said that what actually happened was they just took it all out and burned it it wasn't about what was being what was being written. It wasn't about that. It was about being in the habit of writing every day and getting better. You teach yourself, you become better and better and better. You are what you actively do every single day. I heard it from Stefan Molino. You are, I think it was, maybe it was someone else, I'm not sure, but you are what you actively do every day. That's what you are. So if every day you sit on the couch and eat Cheetos and watch TV, that's what you are. But if every day you write, you're, you're a writer. You don't, you don't need permission from anybody to be a writer. If you write every day, you're a writer. If you blog every day, you're a blogger. You don't need a letter from the Queen to say you're a writer or a blogger or whatever it happens to be. That's what you are, if that's what you do. So learning accurate perception an accurate recording and being able to reproduce that whether it's drawing whether it's a video could be a video as well he didn't mention a video but it could be a video it could be a podcast 
or it could be writing. It's all important. And these days, these days the way writing works anyway is people speak into a phone. It's just the way it is. Um, I think it's good to be able to write and you need to edit what's, what goes into the phone anyway. But the way people write now is talking into a phone. But anyway, this has been Alan here from Looking for Warriors uh, talking about John Taylor Gatto and being able to accurately observe and reproduce and record what you've observed. I want you to do me a favour. I want you to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be talking, if you have any interest in John Taylor Gatto, and even if you don't, just subscribe anyway because it makes me feel good.